Hey guys, and welcome back to Quiggies of the Week! We're back! Yes! And here we have a Dugsbrugs Wagen 5. He's in the Lakeville city, and he's gonna take a shot through this little narrow gap. Um, you saw a tank destroyer right there, but he's not sure if he's still there. He's just gonna keep on firing, keep on firing, and gets the kill! The Panzer sind von der Federbier. See? Very nice. Good job. It's a good start. Then we have an STI or ST1, as some people like to say it. He's very low on HP, and holy crap, here comes an autoloader. He's sure to be the death of this brave STI one thing. But nope, he bounces, 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 and is killed by an ally. And the STI one says his best. Nope. Nope, indeed. Artillery action, we got the SU-14-2, he's in the city, and he's very, very, uh, he's very dead now, there's a light tank, haha, <laughs> this will be great, unless the light tank thinks that getting a ram kill would be best, then the artillery will not die, because the artillery is that as the, the foo balls, something like that, from the outside of an artillery to the inside of an artillery. There is a Type 64 being a troll here, I think? But no matter. Bombardier Metal! Haha! <laughs> but that's not the only thing about this replay that's a quickie worthy, because he reloads his gun and he sees two more enemies sitting very close to each other. A Gesuchwagen TKP and the small light tank. Didn't see what it was, it was a T-37. Bam! Two Bombardier Metals in a row! <laughs> That's very nice. But let's practice our dancing moves for the upcoming quickies, right? Wah, yeah! Very nice trick there. I would think that would be like 500 points in Tony Hawk Pro Skater, which I just played the other day, which is still an awesome game. Then we have an IS-3. Very unfortunate here in the city. If he gets hit by this Artie, he's gonna die because that's a tier 10 Artie, the T-92. He gets a good shot into him and also tracks the Artie. He already fixes his track and comes around the corner. What is an IS-3 to do? Oh no, oh no, oh no, wiggle, wiggle, kill it! Why not? Wait. <laughs> the already missed the IS-3 and killed his Rheinmetall Borsig Waffenträger. Fred. <laughs> Scumbag. Why you kill allies? I hate you. We all hate you. Then we have an ELCMX going nuts here. Gonna turn around. Oh, there's a kill in the distance. Click. Bam! That's a pretty damn nice shot right on the money! Very nice. Very, very nice. Then from something awesome to something very unfortunate. An IS-6 has spotted an SU-12244. And uh-oh, uh-oh, he's uh -oh, gonna get killed. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! No, not... No, not your ally! No, no, you got killed as well! No! Shit. He fired underneath the SU-12244 and killed his ally. Oh no. T-57 on the island on mines. He's gonna... Oh, he spots him up and take a... How's Panzer Fia? He's gonna take a shot into him. Oh, gets another shot into him. Keep on firing, boy. Keep on firing. He could still be there. And if not, you're gonna bag yourself an artillery. Ha <laughs> ha. The luck is strong with this one. Speaking about killing targets that weren't mentioned, or intended, he kills a leopard! Muffin Tiger kills a leopard! He tries to hit the Tiger P, but nope, misses. Speaking about uh, unintentional kills, maybe this VK, oh shit, just doesn't want to be touched. Because that's a very, very crazy reaction. I'm just gonna touch you a little bit, nope. You little shit, you don't touch me, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Um, speaking about spinning, you want more spinning clips? So let's take a look at this one. We got the M4 down there. He's completely oblivious. Gets a shot right in the face. But <laughs> look at him. He spins around. He's completely confused. It's like, wasn't I just turning my turret to shoot at this, uh, this Panzer Uh, 
shit, what happened? We're gonna see that one again because that was hilarious. It's like, I'm gonna turn my turret towards this tank and shoot him. Uh, no you're not. It's like, I'll keep my turret spinning the same direction. Wait, where am I again? Oh yeah. Oh shit. And then he dies. <laughs> IS2. He's gonna come up here. He does not have the gun depression. Oh, we just saw him. He could take the shot, but no, no, no. He keeps crawling up the hill and gets less and less gun depression. Screw that guy. Nah, I didn't want that kill anyway. Or did I? Yeah, I did. I wanted that kill anyway. Haha, <laughs> good shot. <laughs> Jeffy is storming into the base of this Hummel. And the Hummel is like, nope, I'll lie in wait and see if I can kill you. Uh, the shot hits, but just the track and no damage almost. He, he should have killed him, and he did! He still got the kill! But why? The Javi killed him! Bam! And then his corpse keeps rolling! And that's a dead Javi. That's one way of doing it. This is another way of doing it. You're being out of render range, but you want the kill still. Yeah, I'm just gonna aim here. Let's see. Should be there. And he is! Bam! SU-85, kill! And then we have a bloodthirsty walker bulldog. He's super bloodthirsty, as he has the autoloader cannon on him. And he's gonna go in and just completely decimate these artilleries. First Artie misses, the other Artie doesn't even bother shooting him. That's one, and two, that's not enough for me! Where's more targets, more targets! Bam! And kills a cheery as well! <laughs> Bam! And bam! And more stuff to kill! And bam! That's that that's just crazy. That's a crazy sequence right there. Let's take it, tone it down a little bit here, and jump into an S51. He's just looking here, shot Churchill one, predicts his pattern, and kills a Lux and a type T34. What? But I was going for the Churchill. Into another battle with the S51. And one minute hasn't even passed, but he still wants a kill. So he takes a shot at the usual artillery position. And guys, stop sitting in the same positions. Stop sitting in the same positions. Sit in the position like um, this guy. This guy is sitting in a completely unorthodox position. And this Ausbling Panzer can't stop in time. And he bounces an AP shell. He bounced the AP shell of the Arty. Are you kidding me? You have to remember that... That is a panther chassis, but the Hauskleon Panzer also bounces. Where did that shot go? Never mind. Let's see the Arty kill. Yeah, there we go. We always want to see the Arty die. Um, um, um. And then we have Tim God. Tim God is known for sending in clips where he fails. How can he fail this time? Hmm. It's a light tank. Let's ram it. Bam! And uh, let's hand him the kill. Um, yep, that's um. Very nice of you, Tim God. Very nice. But it's not always Tim God doing the idiotic things. We also have a WZ120 here going, yay, death. Oh, God. And then Tim God goes in and gets the kill. Very nice. Very nice. Then we have an IS getting the kill on an AT-15. But there's a Rheinmetall Waffenträger right in front of him. And if, if he hits him with a high roll, he could die. So please don't, please don't. Uh, no roll. Oh, no roll. He's so happy he takes a dance. He makes a little dance move. I would do that too if I just didn't die from a Waffen Tiger. He can now run from it. Very nice. Some bird action. It's been a while since we've seen some bird action. And click. And kill. Of course. Of course. It's the bird. Why? You can't not have a clip like this. Hey, uh, Get on the move, no aim, and just click. Then we have an SU-152, he's waiting for something. Oh, there's an E-25 sitting right there. Take a shot, dude. Damn. E-25 wasn't even spotted during the entire battle. He had just been sitting there doing nothing. But that's not enough for him, so he takes another one and completely misses his ally. He could have killed the ally, but no. Uh-oh, the T-3485, hurry, save the arty. Oh, um, oh, oh, never mind. Kill that one. Oh, he disappeared. Well, never mind, foolish mortal. I don't need to see you to kill you. I just need to click. Stalin will guide my shot. 
Let's have some more ramming action here. A very close miss by this Artie. Take a look at this uh, replay. Oh, it's so close. And he gets the ram on him. That wasn't a good enough ram. Well, let's take a almost uh, a thousand, more than a thousand HP ram then. Bam! IS-7 completely decimates this Leopard 1. Ouch. Ouch. Ow. We're gonna move on to an Object 704. He's being quite annoyed because he's been spotted twice now and got hit by Artie by something that's just spotting him. Oh, it was a T-71! Haha! <laughs> Sitting in the usual bush. Sometimes you just gotta take those shots to those usual spots where people usually can. KB-3? Uh, you can also get a blind shot kill there, but it looks like there's two shots coming in, like boom boom, right there, and kills that tank. Unfortunate because he wasn't spotted the entire battle either. Then we have a KV-2 sitting in the cap zone of the enemy with 20 seconds to go, but he can't win on cap. So he takes a very good look at these two tanks and takes a shot and kills the enemy tank with split seconds left in the battle and wins the game. That was awesome. Then we have an AT-2. He's getting shot by something which has a very long long uh, view range. So he's just gonna shoot in that direction and kill an artillery. <laughs> uh, sucks to be you, Vesper. It really does. Then we have a very, very close call situation here. We have an E75 up against a VK Aus B and an IS-8. The IS-8 is not very clever though as he blocks the shot from the, uh, the VK here. An Object 704 shows up from the side though and it gets a good shot into the side of the E75. E75 is going to swing his turret around and then go back to the IS-8. See if he can deal with that one. But the IS-8 goes out into the open and gets killed by a T-30. Bam! That IS-8 does not know how to look at his surroundings. And then we're going to end this episode with a KV-2 carrying a game. He's up against an AMX AC-48 with five kills. This is very scary. I'm just gonna let the clip play out and I'll see you guys next Friday for more quickies. Stay awesome!